In 2013, we filmed what have since been described as two of the greatest kart races in history, and we're showing both of them again in this two-part programme. In this first part, we're showing the greatest end to a motorsport championship ever, when three drivers in the 8-13 to year old Coma Cadet class went head-to-head -head in an end-of-season shootout, where two points separated all three drivers. The one that beat the other two on the track would take the championship title, and boy, would it be epic. We join the race on lap three. The championship points update live in the top left of your screen. Oliver York's got the championship in his pocket at the moment, so whoever wins between York, the five plate, the nine plate there, Wood, who's currently in third place, and Alex Quinn on the seven cart, and he's back in uh, at the back of this group now, Alex Quinn. Whoever wins on the track between these three will take the championship, and it's still York out front as he come through turn one, down through Cafe Corner. So William Petit, fusion teammate to Oliver York. Now, he could do him a big favour here if he pushes him away from the carts behind. Wood does not want to allow that uh, gap to grow. That's a good overall view. We've got to move up the inside of uh, Ollie Caldwell by, looks like Johnny Edgar. Caldwell runs wide, so it looks like Edgar's through. Quinn is through to fifth place as they come down through the chicane one more time. Interesting dynamic we've got here as they head onto the hangar straight down towards hangar corner. The top five drivers, except one, and that is Tom Wood in third position, are all from Fusion Motorsport. This is pretty much civil war for the championship between Oliver York and Alex Quinn. There's no team orders now, surely. It's all going to be down to who performs best on the track. And at the moment, Oliver York is in the hot seat with William Petit, his teammate, following his every move. Wood is just trying to get himself back onto the tail of these two. And finally, Edgar and Quinn seem to have broken free of Caldwell enough to at least make a challenge. Caldwell is still there. Here comes Quinn up on the inside of the hairpin. Nicely done on Johnny Edgar. There's not much he can do about that one. Caldwell is now right on the tail as well. And these three having a great scrap for fourth position, but they're allowing the top three to break away. And Wood is gaining on these two. Quinn might normally work with Johnny Edgar, but he's having a look at that gap. And he knows he couldn't let that gap get... Uh, any bigger Woods close the gap between the two in front so we've got a three cart train and that's going to be difficult now for Quinn to close seven or eight cart lengths on these three if they start working together however having said that I don't think Wood would really wants to work with uh, Oliver York he will just want to get the lead but it's a uh, York that has it from William Petit now William Petit is the uh, fly in the ointment so to speak between York in first place and Wood there in thirds. The rest of the carts stream down through the left hander and up to Stratford Hairpin. That is uh, Alex Quinn on the seven cart. He le leads this championship coming into this race on 697. But quite honestly, it really doesn't matter now because whoever wins on the track, as we said before, between Quinn, York and Wood takes the championship. And if I know Coma Cadet Racing in 2013, we haven't seen anything yet. Here we go, Wood up on the inside of Petit. Now is the moment to make that move up into second place. That was beautifully done. And as he heads through Park Bend onto the main straight once again, fantastic stuff. And through Park Bend they go, down to Cafe Corner. Wood is now trying to make his move for the lead. And look how close the trio from fourth to sixth position now. On the tail of the leaders as the 77, Callum Bradshaw tries to make his way into seventh position. Now we've got Petit trying to make his move back to second place. Up on the inside of Wood, Quinn's getting in there. In the seven in fourth position, side by side, Wood and Petit. This is brilliant. Petit slots back into third position. He realizes, I can't make the move there. I'll have to do it again. He couldn't care less about the championship. He's not in contention for it. He wants to bow out of this championship with a win. Uh, however, his three comrades around him, they're all battling for the championship. Petit has got the last of the three championship contenders behind him and the other two in front. So at the moment, it's York from Wood, Petit and Quinn. You're right, Jake. William Petit would just want to take the win here. He's not interested in the championship, but here comes uh, Alex Quinn down the inside for third place. So we've got the three main contenders, first, second and third. It's York from Wood and Quinn. First, second and third, whoever wins between them wins the championship. The 70 carts still got that position on the track. That's Matthew Graham. 
And here comes Wood for the lead. Wood's got the championship in his pocket. Quint goes with him. And Petit trying to get in the mix as well, but can't make it stick. So now, now as things stand, it's Tom Wood that's got the championship in his pocket. But Quinn's right in the mix now. The three championship contenders are first, second and third in this race with three hard chargers in William Petit, Ollie Caldwell and Johnny Edgar breathing down their neck for the final race of the championship. And literally any one of these three drivers in the first three positions can win the championship. Currently it's Wood leading, but not for long. Here comes Quinn and it looks like York's going to go through with him. Quinn takes the lead, York is second, Petit is now third, Wood is back down to fourth position. So from first position to fourth, his championship of aspirations here have taken a hammer blow because whoever finishes first of these three gets the championship. Wood was looking to be the champion. Now Petit making his move for the lead from third position. Through comes York and <laughs> fantastic Wood is in there as well. All of a sudden Quinn is back down to fifth position. Is he fifth? No, he's fourth. He just about hangs on from Caldwell. Edgar is side by side with Caldwell for fifth position behind this lot. And William Petit hits the front once again. Edgar is kind of shoved out onto the dirt a little by Caldwell, not physically, but certainly in terms of his position on the track. But Petit leading, York is second, Wood is third, Quinn is fourth, and Petit couldn't care less about this championship. Quinn had the championship in his pocket, but for not for long, it was about half a lap that he had the lead, but he's back in fourth place now. He's got, he's got space to make up as well. That's not good for Alex Quinn. Now, bear in mind, in the interview early, he did say that he'd lost his best engine this weekend, but he's got to put that aside. He can't be thinking about that. He's just got to get on with it. And it's William Petit that has this one. York, in second place, has a championship in his pocket, but he's hounded there by Wood. And Quinn, once more, has got a lot of work to do to make this gap up. He can't afford to allow these three to work together and get away. He's got Ollie Caldwell in behind. Johnny Edgar's now off the pace. And uh, I said before, Jake, Ollie Caldwell, this is a great performance by the young man and looking forward to next year. He could be a contender in the championship. He certainly could. Eclipse have done a brilliant job to give him the toys to play with this weekend, right at the sharp end. And let's not forget Matthew Graham is up in the top 10 as well. Both those young drivers having a brilliant weekend here at Shennington and getting involved in a fight for victory. Ollie Caldwell definitely doing a good job. Look how far back Johnny Edgar has dropped. He's almost in the clutches of the lead train for seventh place, Matthew Graham. Quinn, however, is getting very close indeed and bringing Caldwell with him. Never mind getting close. He is there. He's right on the tail of wood once again. So it's these five, Petit in the lead in the 15, then in second place is York in the five, then we have Wood, the only man in this uh, quartet at the front of the field, not for Fusion Motorsport, he is an AIM man, and uh, as far as his bid is concerned, what a fantastic coup it would be if he could beat the Fusion boys today when he's got three of them all around him. And they're working in packs, trying to get the best possible result. They want a one, two, three. Wood has other ideas, down the main straight again. Petit just wants the win. Ollie Caldwell wants a podium. This would be his first podium at the Super 1 Series. And looking forward to next year. That will stand him in good stead. But to uh, go through the left-hander, it's still York that has the championship. He's there in second place. Uh, make that first, though, as he comes up the inside. Wood goes with him. Quinn goes with him. And Petit goes from first to fifth in one corner. Unbelievable. What a random moment from... Uh, Petit, it just looked like he moved aside. He saw they were coming and just kind of went over to the left and went, you know what, actually, guys, go for it. And he opened the door far too much. I think he would have wanted to have slot in just behind uh, either York or, Wo uh, York or Quinn, sorry. And he ended up losing everything down to fifth position because Caldwell saw that as an invitation to go for a podium and said, thanks, mate. I couldn't care less about the championship. I just want to get on the rostrum. And he went through as well. Petit slipping to fifth position then from first in the blink of an eye and once again the top three drivers are the championship contenders York is leading Wood is second Quinn is third and what a banzai we have now down to Stanford corner and this is going to be one heck of a move is Quinn going to make his move up the inside yes he does Caldwell goes through as well Wood is down from second to fifth Quinn is up to second place York is still there leading but now Wood has got it all to do dropping to the back of this queue Quinn is now making his bid to go for the lead what an amazing move this would be from Alex Quinn if he could just just put himself head and shoulders above the rest. They all look behind to see where everybody is. You don't need a scientist to know how close it is. Absolutely brilliant. Up the inside comes Petit pass. Caldwell. Wood is going to go through as well. Caldwell gets put back down to fifth position again. Petit 
up into third position. This is what Fusion Motorsport want. They've got their boys in first, second and third. Wood is about to ruin the party. Back into third position. And again, the top three contenders in the championship are first, second and third. This time it's York, Quinn and Wood. Brilliant stuff as they head down to the hairpin once more. Quinn looks behind him. Where's Wood? Can I afford to make a move on York? He doesn't yet. Through the right-hander. And again, Petit trying to come back at Wood. They, the team really want to get all three of their boys on the top three for the last race of the year, but they are not going to have it easy. Wood is going to make it so difficult for them. Yeah, William Petit can do his two teammates a favour here by getting in front of Tom Wood on the nine car, but uh, at the moment that's not the case. Is there in fourth place? Caldwell still there in fifth, close enough. But it's York that has it, and York has been leading either leading this race or certainly leading the championship positions effectively for more laps than anybody else. But it doesn't matter, it's who le who's leading at the end and we're into the last lap and it's still York that has a lead from Quinn and Wood. Oh, looks like Wood's championship is over, he's back to fourth. I don't believe it. Just as the beginning of the final lap, Johnny Edgar in sixth position gets the fastest lap, but we're more interested in this. Wood steps to fourth position. Now everybody's going to go for it. It's Banzai round the outside. Petit takes the lead. Unbelievable. Now we've got Caldwell alongside Wood and Quinn. York is still there in second position in the number five, but now we've got Caldwell trying to make his bid. Third is Quinn. Fifth is Wood at the moment, stuck behind Caldwell. It looks like it's going to be York who takes the championship in the number five, but Quinn is holding off. Quinn is holding off Caldwell. Wood is still in there, but it looks like York is going to get this. Stuck behind Petit. Quinn has one last chance. It's not going to happen. It's going to be Oliver York who takes the title, and he knows it. William Petit gets the win, but York is the champion. Oliver York has done it. Absolutely sensational in brilliant style. Oliver York is the 2013 Coma Cadet champion. He certainly was sensational. Oliver York coming out on top that time and a week later he would go on to take the official British Cadet Championship title. That was the greatest end to a karting season ever. After the break, the greatest kart race ever.